It's been an interesting week for baseball fans. First, the commissioner said 100% chance that there would be baseball this season. Then they backtracked a little bit, saying they're not confident that there will be any baseball this year. Then there is reportedly an agreement between both sides who are currently fighting over a whole bunch of things. It's a lot to take in. There was a widely reported face-to-face -face meeting with MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred and union head Tony Clark. And what was exciting, Lindsay, about this meeting was it was the first face-to-face -face meeting, real you know, direct contact with each other in, gosh, almost 10 days. So the fact that there were meeting, everybody was so excited. And then there were statements from Rob Manfred that said they left the meeting with a framework of this deal. So that's what everybody was hopeful for. Um, it looked like this was a framework of a deal. Not so fast, Lindsay, because then the union came out with a statement saying any reports of a tentative agreement is false. So then the roller coaster ride goes up and down again. The absolute, absolute latest now is a surprising counter proposal from the union, who remember said, we're done talking, we're done negotiating, but now they said, okay, we're going to do. 70 games. How about that? The problem is the owners already kind of gave them those roughly 10 extra games at 60. And the owners, if they agreed to 70 games, would probably cost them almost a quarter of a billion dollars. I keep getting viewer emails with the same question asking, why are the owners making it such a big deal that this season, the regular season, be over by September 27th? reason why they wanted to end by the end of September is because word of the second wave of the coronavirus. So they're afraid that the coronavirus would maybe possibly cancel the postseason, which for those people who don't know is the big moneymaker for the owners. Hazel, what are the players saying about all of this? They say they're ready. In fact, Blue Jays infielder Travis Shaw, who signed a one-year deal with Toronto, he went on a Boston radio station. And the quote that I got from that interview was, quote, Baseball is coming very, very soon. So there must be a little bit more optimism that the two sides are going back and forth, but I really, really doubt that the owners are going to settle for the 70 games. That's going to cost them another quarter of a billion dollars, Lindsay, and I don't know if that's going to sit well with them. The regular season was supposed to start on March 26th, but it has been postponed because of the coronavirus pandemic.